Hello water signs. So thank you for tuning in to my channel. And I'm going to be doing um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, okay? This is for um, mid of April. mid-april this is for water signs let me call in my spirit guides my higher self to guide and protect me in this reading and so let me be aware of the message being given to me this is the messages that are coming through from me take what resonates leave what doesn't it may not um stick you know with some of you guys and that's okay because i'm reaching a lot of you um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you would like a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. This is for water signs, okay? Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, just remember, you know, sun, moon, rising as well. So, you might want to check out my other signs. And I usually do individual signs, but this week, I'm not doing that. I have some things scheduling into my, um, week. So, that's okay. No problem. You guys, this is good. Let's see what's going on for water signs. This is for water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What's going on? Hope within a connection that was lost. There was, you know, um, no commitment unrequired love um you know someone cheated within the relationship here and now there there's hope there's needing hope within a connection here or there's you know something was definitely lost here i feel like you know now there is an opportunity that's coming along it is a start up an, of an opportunity and investment as well um you could definitely be looking into Wanting to start fresh and wanting to start new, letting things go as well. Um, water sign, you're, you know, this is, um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini, okay? But, you know, for certain water sign, this is, um, you know, lost hope. It, there's no hope within a connection, okay? And there is a new opportunity that is being offered to you here with the page of, um, the page of pentacles right here so go ahead and take that opportunity because it is being offered to you okay now whether you take it or not is up to you okay um water sign it's like will you take this opportunity or won't you you have the six of wands right here that is representing you know something that needs to uh be more successful within your life okay um be more have more awareness make wiser decisions okay there's a lot of upheavalness, okay? You could be going through a divorce, a, a breakup, you know, definitely something very strong coming here. You're losing hope. You're losing the the connection as well. Um, there's not an opportunity here anymore, okay? We have the strength card in reverse water sign. Uh, this could be Leo as well, okay? Um, Scorpio energy with the tower in reverse. But I'm seeing like, you know, you're not wanting to take this offer. You're backing down from it, trying to make things work in a connection that has been lost already. Okay. Um, you're needing to wrap. This is, this is what the cards are saying with the world card in reverse. The, you know, this is like, I've given up hope. I've given up hope, but I'm still, you know, um, there's an offer here. Okay. So you guys. Now, there is an offer here with the page of uh, uh, Pentacles, but it's like, are you going to take it? Or are you not going to take it? Um, are you pushing too hard to something that needs to be uh, let go of, okay? Because the Seven of Wands indicates, you know, pushing too hard and being very unsuccessful. Um, and this is a type of energy that, you know, you're having to go with the flow with. You're having to let the universe work in its own um, timing, okay, to make things come out in 
in your favor, whether you're manifesting this relationship on a higher note, on a higher level, okay? Um, whether you want the ideal partner that you're seeking, okay? Um, I feel like, you know, whatever happened here... There was a Divine Masculine, King of Cups, Water Sign. This this could definitely be you, Water Sign, okay? Um, whether you're a Divine Feminine or a Divine Masculine, okay? A lot of upheavalness within your emotions, within the way you feel within this connection. I definitely feel like the Tower here is like... Um, the, the tower in reverse is like, you know, let things go. Let things fall. Stop holding on to it, you know? The, the, the hope... Um, has been lost within this connection. So maybe it is that you're needing to regain more hope within yourself, okay? Um, and so that you need to make wiser decisions within the future, okay? So that, you know, this is your call, you know? Um, stop letting other people make this decision for you or, you know, you letting other people um, call judgment, within this connection okay um and <clears throat> needing strength needing power needing focus needing control okay so that you can make the call okay i feel like you know you are up, up in your feelings here water signs with the king of cups here um with the tower card but it's like you know I feel like once there was a strong connection here within this relationship, but something happened, okay? And it's not happening anymore for you and this individual, okay? But you have to have the courage to move forward is what it's saying. You have to have the courage and you have to have the boundaries that requires you to distance yourself from this upheavalness, from these um, behaviors, toxic behaviors, from this mentality of, you know, um, whatever it is. Okay, let's look at the bottom. So, uh, you could be dealing with the Taurus. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This is earth sign energy water and you know what i just did the earth reading and i think you guys need to watch that one too if you're watching the water sign okay but cancer scorpio pisces this is a a taurus capricorn virgo that you could be dealing with right here okay now there is a connection here okay but there is some unrequired love involved with the two of pentacles here and it makes for an unhappy home unsettling feeling within yourself it's also referring to um illusions delusions you know um within a beginning within a connection and you're trying to find a solution but you know it's like telling you to seek it's telling you to seek with the hermit okay um this is virgo energy this is the hermit card this is about seeking stability and balance within yourself okay um so, you know, and that's the completion right here, okay? Stop using your power um, on things that are just not happening, you know? Stop using your power and let the universe take control because that's what's really happening with the tower in, the, in reverse. It's like, you know, on standstill. It's like, you know, it's like you, you're trying to go against the grain instead of going with it, okay? So... You know, and somebody want to differ, you know, with what I'm saying within this reading. And that's fine. This reading is not for you then, okay? Um, this is just what the cards are saying, you guys. So, you know, we have somebody who is definitely not taking action to something out of fear, out of, you know, uh, out of, um, you know, thinking that there isn't, the grass isn't greener on the other side. Well, it is, okay? The grass is greener on the other side. Even if this is your soulmate, even the, if this is your twin flame, your your lover, your twin soul, whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, there is, okay? You can just have to find that courage within yourself okay because right now it's like you're backing down from being successful because your emotions have got in your way water sign and that's what happens sometimes with the water signs okay and that's that's uh you know your empath you're you're feeling things on a much higher level on a much you know higher note and and you're needing to let go of this okay and stop putting your energy into something that is not giving it back to you so let's just see what's going on here with, uh, wow, 
Okay, so I just want to see what's... And you know what, you guys? This is the first card that flipped out for, for the Earth sign. So if you are watching this, go to Earth sign and watch it. Because that is a significator to me that, you know, these two are definitely um, together. You know, this is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, Scorpio, um, Cancer... Pisces energy right here I'm seeing okay let's uh, call in spirits spirits already here you know but uh, what I want to do is really ask the Lenormand deck break it off you know something needs to be broken off something needs to be broken off there is obstacles here you know this is like you going against the uh, the grain, okay? It's like go with the flow, you know? There's mountains here. There is something that needs to be let go of. So there's something that needs to be gained. This is a karmic lesson, a karmic tie. Th this is your decision. This is your choice. And that's what we have. We have decisions and we have choices. So use it and make one and do it wisely, okay? Because something is being taken away right here, okay? Either your decision is being taken taken away and the universe is working in you know because you didn't you know um you know your prayers your affirmations your visualizations are coming into effect right now okay um because you know it's like the decision that you made okay i feel like for some of you this is a decision that you have made so you know you're trying to manifest the, your ideal partner within your life within your connection okay and so that takes away and that's what the mice is are here the mice whittles and takes things away it's taking away your decision now the universe is working in your favor okay now you see obstacles okay it's obstacles okay but they're the timing and we have oh we have a connection here we have a contract so i feel like you know what you're going through could be a karmic lesson could be some kind of karmic situation twin flame um you know it could definitely be that, okay? So, and I'm seeing within time there is going to be some kind of um, connection, okay? Some kind of bond here with the ring. The ring bonds people together. The ring is a contract, okay? Even though it seems like it's a big obstacle right here there is something that needs to be gained within this connection okay and i feel like that's that's the thing what's happening right now because with this death card it's there is a gift okay there is a gift behind this all and it explains it very well in the earth sign reading okay so there is a connection here yes there is but I feel like something is being taken away because you're not letting things fall. Like I said, how long are you going to be stuck in this energy for, you know? Wisdom. There is wisdom behind breaking things off, okay? And that makes perfect sense. You gain more control. You gain more clarity. You gain more focus, strength, power. Uh, you gain decisions as well. Um, and you stop letting other people make the decision for you or, you know... You stop letting this person um, try to get the best of you, okay? Um, or, you know, you're sacrificing too much for this individual to have a strong bond. Let's see what's going on. So, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with others. It's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to let people know how you feel. Um, are you feeling comfortable with that? You know, some people might differ as well, but I'm seeing that if you are open to expressing yourself, there is someone that will definitely um, listen to what you have to say as you go through this time within your um, your relationship. Because I do feel like, you know, and there's children that are being involved, okay? So, for some of you, this is inner child work that needs to be done, okay? Um, and this is, you know, really opening up to what needs to be healed within your connection, within your heart space. Um, yeah, within your heart space. It's like, you know, really expressing yourself and opening yourself up. 
and you know finding out what makes you happy okay because the children are about playfulness and happiness and what makes you happy look at the little puppy within this reading right here and you know it's like you know fun times as well you know being that childlike looking things in a more new um a, a new way being very optimistic positive thinking and faith will bring you romance okay let's get one more card here finances and careers okay so something has really been affecting in your relationship and there needs to be a new outlook within this connection to make things come together to make things work if you still want this relationship to work i'm feeling like this connection needs to be let go of um you know and uh look new vitality there is a new you know there is something new that's wanting to spring into your life right here it's playing you see how he's playing this music and all the colors of the rainbow are coming out you know this is like harmony this is going with the flow this is you know just like the breeze of the wind the new vitality um this is also an ace of wands. There is passion. There is love. There is something that sends off high vibrational uh, feelings. Okay. There is vibration. There is a new love. There is a new romance here. Um, for some of you, this could be new energy coming in. And all you have to do really is let it go and gain more power within yourself. Because you guys, in the middle of the deck here, we have... Look at this. We have the strength card in reverse. That is loss of focus, loss, loss of power, you know, um, needing to gain more focusness, more power within oneself, um, feeling alone, okay? So there is feeling like the victim, needing to detach, okay? This is what's happening. You're detaching from your partner, okay? You're detaching. Uh, to find peace, okay? You're and you're definitely needing to be that hermit, okay? To find the light within, okay? Then you can bring the light back into the home, back into the house, okay? And that's what we were talking about, you know, finding the light within and bringing the the light back into the home, back into the house. And that's that hermit card here in reverse. This is finding that light within and going with you know finding that passion finding that light within and that's that new vitality that's seeking through and i feel like the only way that you're going to find that is if you detach yourself from this person okay so like i said you guys it may resonate with some of you it may not this is a general reading please um i'm just reading the cards as they come out so uh, please take what does and leave what doesn't. But what I will do for you is pull a um, spiritual message for you. This is from your higher self, okay? Um, this could definitely be from a loved one. Uh, this is a messages from spirit as well. So however this wants to resonate with you, embrace the moment. And that's what it's saying, okay? And, you know, there's that rainbow of hope right there. And this is what's needing to, ha to happen, you know. The star card is about hope, okay? And with it being in reverse, it's just saying there's no hope within this upheavalness that's coming through and it's really getting towards your emotions and it's you're really needing to embrace this energy, let it in, fill it, okay? Embrace this day, this very moment, think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. Your energy around you, your aura, everything is changing because you're realizing something. But your visualizations are coming into your manifestation, okay? That you're, uh... Yeah, you're, you're, you're really manifesting what you want, and it takes some time. It takes some time to detach as well, to gain, okay? It's a process. It's just not going to happen overnight, you guys. Okay, so um, this is for water signs. This is mid of April as well. So, um, and also, this is a connection to, um, oh my gosh, like I said, this is a connection to the earth sign because at... 
the, look, there's the divine feminine, there's the divine masculine here. There's definitely, it's repetitive. Something's happened repetitively within this connection that's moving you two closer together or that's moving you apart, okay? So you need to figure out what that is, okay? For some of you, it's many different, um, it can mean many different things as well. Um, but what I would like to tell you is that the divine feminine was on the bottom, of this deck, the Lenormand deck, in the Earth sign, okay? So you guys are connected in some kind of way, okay? Thank you so very much. Um, you guys are awesome. I hope you're having an awesome day. And, you know, keep your head up. And this is just a phase. This is just, you know, uh, what's happening for the moment, for this week. And try to embrace it and go with the flow of that energy instead of going against it. You'll find um, clarity. You'll find synchronicities. You'll find that it's easier to go with the energy than against the energy, okay? So you guys, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you.